Here's an interesting little thing is that you'll notice as we're taking frames out and such doing this first inspection, uh, not first, but you know later inspection of the hive. Probably wouldn't hurt to give a little little puff there, Tyrone. Uh, is that uh, is that the bees typically will start in the center and work outward. Okay, so and we're seeing that here. We're seeing less done in these frames on this end. And as we get closer, I suspect, we'll see less done on the frames on that end. So again, we have our smoker going, and every so often we give them a little puff. They're, they're, be, they're cooperating pretty good today. Uh, you know, a lot of guys have come out without smokers and such like that. They're better men than I am. Uh, the few times I have worked without a smoker, one of the times I got, uh, I got clipped. So, All right. Second to the last frame, and just as we suspected, they're not yet uh, fully drawing all this out yet. Uh, you can still see the black plastic, which on this end looks pretty much untouched. But again, see how efficient these gals are. Uh, they're, the comb is maybe halfway built out, not all the way built out, and they're already putting honey in it. Okay, like I said, these gals are very industrious. The Lord made some really cool creatures here. Uh, so again, as we're getting closer to the end, we're seeing less done on the frames. They start in the center, and they work their way out. And lo and behold, our last frame here looks pretty much like it came from the factory, minus a couple bees floating around on it. You can see there at the bottom, we're using the, uh, the ventilated screen boards, ventilated bottom boards, excuse me. And that's helped these, these hides an awful lot, too, especially in this heat. Okay, and we're checking out the second hive, again that we started on the other uh, Bees for Beginners videos. What I always like to do too on a, on a hive is I'll take a frame out. You know, good to start at the side because they haven't done anything yet on this. Now you have mo room to move around the other frames. See that? So you're not constantly fighting on what you got doing. Now these bees will build what's called burr comb. That's this stuff here. All right. Basically, it's any comb that isn't where you want it on the frame. And our first and second uh, frames there are both clean. And you can set that to the side if you want to, or just off to the way. Uh, this burr comb, oftentimes, that's why a lot of people advocate the use of an inner cover. And again, if you're up north and things like that, it's a necessity, I think, because of the, cause of the uh, cold weather. And frame three is pretty much clean also. Haven't done any work yet on that. So this, they're doing about what the other hive did so far. It's always good if you're getting into beekeeping to get more than one hive to begin with. Uh, it gives you something, something for comparative sake. Nothing yet on this frame either. I'm going to move this smoker over there, Tyrone. I'm going to wreck my face. Okay, now we're starting to get into some of the bees. Give them a little puffy puffy. Okay, got pretty much, here we go. All right, now, why is this doing this? It is automatically advancing. Sorry for the technical difficulties here. Now, this is uh, some frames we got from a company we hadn't used before, and they don't fit super tight, all 10, in a, in a uh, hive body. So we're seeing some abnormalities with how they're drawing out this, uh, this comb in different spots here. Okay. But what we have is they're building out the wax and such. A little bit of honey being stored, a little bit of pollen over here. That's the dark colored stuff. Okay. Shall we pull another frame? Let me give you another little puff there because you're getting into the heart of them. See what I was talking about with the burr comb here? Yeah. They, what they've done now is they'll be a little bit more ticked here because. We're actually pulling apart some of the stuff they've built. Okay, good. Yep. Let's see, we disturbed a little bit of the honey here where they were crossing, crossing uh, two frames. A little bit of honey at the top. The brood is a little harder to see in these because of the white plastic and some of the, the white foundation. If you hold it one second, I'll see if I can brush these gals to the side here a little bit. 
zoom in, you can kind of see the little spir spirally eggs in there and such. Again, that's the brood that has not yet been capped. Okay. I, we, I think we got it figured out. Okay, notice the grip here. I was holding the dog ears and such of the, of the frame. These frames, especially when they get a lot of brood and honey and such on there, get pretty heavy. So make sure you have a good grip on them and such as well too. Here we're seeing some brood. See this brood right here, it's hard to see where I'm pointing with the camera, uh, is about to be capped. It isn't quite capped yet, but it's, it's, they're going to cap that real soon. So you're able to see a lot of the, uh, a lot of the uh, different stages of the, of the bee's life here. And again, this will kind of give you an idea of what to expect when you're starting your hives and such as well too. A uh, little continuation here and such. Uh, this is, what, a little over a month? Yes. Uh, a little over a month from when we started these hives and such. So they're, they're progressing pretty well. It also depends a lot also on what time of year we're getting them started. This being the early spring is, is typically the best time to get your hives started and such. All right. You got anything interesting in the back? Mm -hmm. Okay. And again, as we're getting further to the end here, you'll notice some of, the, some of it isn't drawn out. Some really interesting colors in the pollen there. Do you see that, Tyrone? Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, some really interesting colors with the pollen and such also. Never thought you'd see a beef riding on a video camera. <laughs> Go on, little girl. Don't make me crush you. How'd you get, how'd your camera get sticky? Well, these wax. <laughs> okay, here's our second to the last. And again, these frames being odd sized, not fitting in the, in the uh, hive body all that well, they're doing some odd stuff here, you'll notice, uh, when they're drawing it out. We'll have, to, we'll have to skip, use a different supplier next time. And let's see here. If you look really close here, you can see there's some more brood, uh, another bee emerging. Oh, uh-huh. So it's interesting to see the life cycle of these guys, of these gals. And again, this bottom corner, they haven't even fully drawn out, but they're working the rest of the frame. And again, we're seeing some odd stuff here, how they're uh, drawing these out and such. Hard to use glo wear gloves and use a camera. Uh, they're drawn out in kind of kind of odd shapes here. So it might be something with the uh, with this particular brand of foundation. We've never had that problem before with the uh, with the black plastic from Brushy Mountain. So we'll have to go with them again. And anything on the back side? Nope, they're okay. not, yeah, pretty clean on the back side here. So the hives we started in Bees for Beginners parts one through four seem to be doing pretty well. And again, this is about the, what you can expect after about a month uh, from a standard hive installation and such. We'll be following up with these bees again later, and here pretty soon we'll be looking at some other bees, uh, <clears throat> beehives that, with some honey harvest. So we appreciate you watching uh, for the Survival Report and Paw Productions. Thank you.